Hello everyone, this is Sensei Saruman welcoming you back to Let's Play Baldur's Gate 3. Well, last time we beat the hag, we kind of messed up the whole rescue thing. Uh, Miriam hates us, and I think she hates herself more than she hates us, really, but we did destroy the thing that might resurrect her husband, but honestly, it's probably just going to bring him back as a zombie or something. But our, we went and checked her lair... Uh, we freed the petrified dwarf, we let the elf who was having visions of the future run free, although he's terrified of what we're, we're going to do next. And I remember that there was one more seemingly cursed person we hadn't checked on yet. So let's see what we can do with the frog. Well, they aren't attacking us anymore, so that's a good sign. Do I still have a uh, scroll of talk to animals? Which I think Gail had all those. Why you believe? I thought I had another scroll of talk to animals, but apparently not. Seek and you shall find me. He seems happier, though, but uh, I think we'll go ahead and just go do a long rest. Looks like I've got Gale to talk to, and... Even in such fraught times as these, there's peace to be found in the stillness as evening draws in. I used to while away many hours just like these with my companion. Though in far comfier surrounds. She preferred it when we were alone. Curled up before a crackling hearth with some ancient esoteric tome between us. Ink glinting in the firelight. <laughs> I hope you aren't talking about Mr. again. Are you talking about your cat? By a Geron's lost nose! No! I speak of Tara, my Tressen, assistant, my constant companion through all the ills and tribulations my hubris has thrust upon me. She'd be proud to see me keeping such fine company. A savior of those poor tieflings, no less. And I've given her precious little to be proud of recently. After I was afflicted with my condition, I locked myself in my tower for an entire year. It was inconsolable. Wallowing in my self-inflicted tragedy. I've given up on myself. But Tara never did. It was her encouragement. Her research that led me to my treatment. Once we knew that magically infused items were the key, she went out to find them for me. She saved my life. She has a good heart. She would recognize the same in your actions here. I'm sure she'd approve of me lending myself to your efforts. What's Tara like? You remind me of her somewhat. There's a steeliness in you. An unwavering tenacity, even in the face of, to be frank, quite dire odds. 
Wish she were here for me to make a formal introduction. But I would never ask her to undertake such a journey. She's safer at home. Besides, she was always telling me I needed to spread my wings, so to speak. Find mortal friends instead of hanging onto Mistress' coattails. So that's what I'm doing. I hope. Bad luck on that front. I'm actually a nymph in the side. Yeah, I wish you let me. You don't have any friends? Sadly not. If I'm being entirely honest, my social circle is rather small. More of a dot. Or a pinhead. I've got acquaintances, certainly. Plenty of colleagues. Friends? Those are precious indeed. I hope, though we've only known each other for a short time, I might be able to count you among that number. Yeah, that depends. What do you like about me? Of course, I hope we might be more than friends. I'm call us a friendship or a series of a uh, series of necessary interactions. Hmm. Were I to recite that list, I fear we'd be here at dusk tomorrow. Many things, I assure you. But a conversation better saved for another time. With my condition as volatile as it is, I fear any undue excitement may tip it over the edge, so to speak. Go. Enjoy your evening. Nothing better for the heart than a good night's rest. And mine is gladdened to know I'll have the pleasure of your company again come morning. Well met. And nothing new from Will. Let's see if Hassel has anything Oak to say. blessings to you. Okay. I have to ask, how do you know so much about the parasite? I studied one up close. Closer than most would care to be to those things. A drow attacked me and I defended myself. Afterwards, I was able to examine the tadpole that emerged. Hideous, but fascinating. Like nothing else in nature, I'm glad to say. What about the secret stronghold in the Underdark? You must know more. Precious little. But I'm quite certain it can still be found. How are you faring here at the camp? <laughs> Wonderfully. If I'm honest, the grove was too comfortable for my tastes. I felt removed from nature. I'll miss my books. But I can find all the wisdom they contain out here, first hand. You'll find plenty of books before long. I keep coming across them everywhere. Is that so? <laughs> well, nature does abhor waste. I will keep watch. Thank you. I had a feeling time in your company would prove fruitful. Why do you uh, want to go to Moonrise Towers? Those illithid creatures threaten the natural order. It's my duty to do what I can to stop them. There's also the Shadow Curse. It's an affront and must be cleansed. I helped overthrow Ketherick Thormund his Dark Justicius years ago, but I failed to prevent him from unleashing darkness across the region before he was defeated. If I can join you and get close to Moonrise, perhaps I can lift this curse just as you find a cure for your infection. Shadow Curse can't be that bad. It's had the whole region around Moonrise Towers in a chokehold of darkness and despair for years now. Those who remained are Shadow Cursed. If you don't die at their hands, then you become one of them. We have to get to Moonrise. But the less time we spend in its blighted surrounds, the better. Sounds like you feel responsible for this somehow. Well, there's hardly anyone left to share the responsibility with. Few who witnessed the fall of Moonrise still draw breath. What Ketherick Thorm unleashed is not something that nature can undo by itself. I must do what I can. I studied the Shadow Curse for years, but to truly understand it and stop it, I must reach its source. Alright. Do you know how it can be stopped? Perhaps. But we'll need to get closer before I can put my theory into practice. Put it from your mind for now. Once we near the curse, then there will be more to be said. Is that why you went with Haradin? You finally might find the route to Moonrise? Precisely. Then perhaps I could have done something. 
about both the Shadow Curse and Ceramorphosis aberrations. But in my eagerness, I put far too much faith in the abilities of Aradin and his band. We didn't even get close. All right, let's see if Volo is anything to add. Ah, my good fellow. Quite the cozy setup you have here. I'll just make myself comfortable. Thank you so yeah. much. Has your research turned anything new? If this is going to lead to that needle thing again... My research turned up a rather brilliant technique that seems... Quite actionable. It's not too deep. Just behind the orbital socket. I could attempt an extraction. I've a needle in my tunic, after all. I'd rather get a second you opinion. You'll find a more learned opinion on this matter, I assure you. You only have a matter of days to live. Don't dally, my friend. Go on, enjoy yourself. I'll hang on a while. Till the weepy philosophy starts, anyway. Nothing new here. Need something? Nothing here. Eh, you know, this strikes me as a good time to catch up with Shadowheart. I was hoping you'd come to chat. What do you need? You and I, we share something special. I think I want to talk about it. Very serious of you. Go ahead. Admit it, you've never had a relationship quite like this one, have you? Even if I could remember, I'm not sure I'd tell you. I don't want your ego to get overinflated. I want to talk about what's happened to us. Fine. What's on your mind? How am I holding up? Quite splendidly, to give credit where it's due. You and I have shared some good times together. And it seems we have plenty in common. I promised I'd be back. Don't worry. I have things under control. For now. You haven't been using the Parasite's power. You think you don't need it. But things haven't gone as you expected. You <sighs> hoped a druid as powerful as Halsin might be able to remove your tadpole. But he couldn't. Not yet. You're desperate to be rid of it. Understandable. But you're looking for solutions in the wrong places. How some of some of the tadpoles have been modified with magic? Yes. Halsin is correct. Your parasite is unusual. It is wrapped in magic that prevents its removal. Until the source of the tadpole's magic is destroyed, 
Any attempt to remove it will kill you. You were lucky that Halson knew this. His instincts are right. The parasites are merely a symptom of a greater sickness in Faerun. What's the sickness? <sighs> the absolute sames are not yet clear to me, but its progress towards domination is clear. These parasites are more than a lithid spawn. They are vessels for control. The infected hear the voice of the absolute and believe it to be a god. You witnessed it yourself with Priestess Gut. That is how the cult of the absolute is spreading. The highest of their rank, the true souls, carry a tadpole just like yours. It is how they receive their orders. It is what makes them obey. When the order to transform is given, it will not be a matter of days. They will be Mind Flayers in an instant. Were it not for my protection, so would you. So who are you? It's complicated. But I'm an adventurer. Just like you. Just like you. I was infected with a Mind Flayer parasite. Just like you. I seek to be free of it. I've been trying to escape from this evil for a long time. Once, I almost succeeded. Now, through you, I've been given a new chance. You can go where I cannot, and I can protect you from that evil. If we work together, we may turn this around. Hells, they need me. I have to go. Anything I can do to help you? No. I can handle this. For now. The power I used to protect you, I stole it from someone. They want it back. I will hold them off for as long as I can, but sooner or later I will be worn down. You must discover the source of the magic that controls the parasites before that happens. The cultists are gathering at Moonrise Towers. Use the powers your parasite gives you to convince them you are one of them. And when you find the source of their magic, destroy it. Go. Our freedom depends on it. Okay, well I just got an achievement for take full, full long rest in a single playthrough. Adventuring is tiring. Okay, we're back in the Putrid Bog, and we've got a conversation option with Shadowheart. There's something I've been wanting to share with you. If now's a good time? Last night might have been better, but yeah, I'm all ears. It's difficult to put into words. I think it might be easier to just show you. Alright. Use the tadpole. The connection. Come into my mind. Are you sure? I'm sure. I trust you. All right. I don't remember how it started. Only how it ended. I was fleeing.
she asked my name. I can't remember what I said. I can't remember anything before those words. All I know is she saved my life and gave me a new home with Lady Shah. That's all I remember. You remember that it is common amongst Saluna's followers to send their children into the woods alone, a rite of passage to find their way home. Perhaps this one has gone awry. You said you were wearing a moonstone. Isn't that commonly worn by Salunites? <laughs> You're reading too much into things. A childhood bauble, that's all. Just because Salunites claim something doesn't mean they own it. No wonder you're so dedicated to Shah, you feel like you owe your life to her. Lady Shah. But yes, her and those who saved me and taught me her ways. The Mother Superior. She made me who I am. At least as best as I can remember. She taught me, trained me, punished me when I failed her. Which was often. Must have been important to her. Perhaps I was. She sent me on this mission, after all. Very serious of you. But go ahead. Yeah, I think we did this before already, but... It's strange. I've been dwelling on what I told you before about wanting to become a Dark Justicia. But perhaps I should be content with my lot. I'm already blessed to have you at my side, after all. Fine. What's on your mind? Quite splendidly, to give credit where it's due. You and I have shared some good times together, and it's... What's next, I wonder? Way to the nearest library. Yeah, I loaded up on attack spells. I didn't give myself uh, talk to animals. Still. She's still hanging around. Gods knows why. It'll take a while for us all to recover. But you've helped it. Of course. Animate dead. anything new in here. I don't think he's refreshed his supply of healing potions. Well, I'm not going to make you watch me sort through uh, 
uh, all of the stuff I need to sell off. So we'll go ahead and stop this chapter here. I will sell gear, and next time, well, we do still have those ruins that we haven't explored yet. Might be worth a quick, ex you know, a quick look, if nothing else. Might be something there. Not a solution to our quest, but maybe never passage to the Underdark. But uh, thank you all for watching. Please like and subscribe if you haven't already. Leave a comment if you are so inclined. And we shall see you next time. Take care until then.